Good morning everyone, this is Ronan Blue and it is the fourth day here in Malacca, Malaysia. So we are packing up and getting ready to get out of our uh, Airbnb here. We actually ordered a bus online for two to uh, KL. It should take uh, roughly about two and a half hours to get there, but uh, we're just about to order a grab. So we're just ready to, to get out of here. This is where you drop off your keys for your Airbnb. So they come in these little boxes here. We just made it to Malacca Central, uh, the bus station. So we're walking towards the uh, bus terminal. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a grab. Yeah, for some reason the grab guy didn't show up. So we had to ask the security guard to get a taxi for us. Um, anyways, that's all right. Maleka Central is a pretty large public transportation terminal. There are lots of food options like fast food and casual and affordable dining. There's also shopping, taxi terminals, ATM machines and souvenir shops. There's all these uh, bus companies you can choose from. We actually chose the Bellama company, the KL. So basically what you do is you buy these tickets online and then uh, yeah, you just come to the counter and uh, yeah, they'll probably give you the bus number. You just get on the bus and go to your destination, that's about it. So this is basically what our uh, ticket looks like to go to KL. Uh, so as you can see, the ticket price per person was only 10 ringgit. This is a really good deal and it takes uh, about two and a half hours to to get there. While waiting for the bus, we got one of these um, snacks here at the bus station. Mm. This is a chicken ham sandwich. Mm. Good. This is a coconut bun. Just splitting in half. So that's what it looks like. The bread is filled with coconut. Mm. Really good. This looks to be our bus to KL. Another trip on a Malaysian bus. Buses out of Malacca Central bus terminal arrive and depart frequently throughout the day for those in Malaysia, Malacca and from Singapore as well. Probably the most affordable way to travel as long as you don't mind the travel duration. We just arrived at the TBS bus station. Right now we're trying to find our Airbnb. So we're not sure if we're supposed to take the uh, rapid KL or the KTM. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's already uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So the place we're supposed to go to is called uh, Chiras. So we found it here. Uh, looks like we have to get on the SP12. So platform one. So it looks like we're gonna have to transfer our trains. So the first train we're gonna get on is probably the number five LRT. Uh, Charis is right here. KL Central is right here. So we're gonna have to transfer somewhere around here. So we're just buying our train tickets um, here on this machine. And our destination would be Chiris for two people. Um, it's actually not in English. I think it's in Malay. Oh wait, we can switch it to English. Oh, there we go. So the total due for the both of us would be four ringgit and 40 sen. machine doesn't accept debit cards, credit cards, 100 ringgit, 50 ringgit, 20 ringgit or 10 ringgit. So the only monetary funds you can put in would be 5 ringgit, 1 ringgit and some coins. Can I see the ticket? 
So this is basically what the your ticket looks like. It's like some sort of plastic casino chip. to uh, Cheras. It was effortless to get to our Airbnb location with the KL train system. So very efficient. On our Airbnb, it's uh, right in front of the train station, so it's going to be very convenient to get around KL. So, yeah, we're here. Well, we finally arrived at our Airbnb. So, this Airbnb will be a little different from the last two. Um, reason being is because we're not borrowing the entire space, but we're borrowing just the room. And go ahead and do a little bit of a room tour. So there's a pretty comfortable area here, two beanbag chairs, a television, um, has a really awesome view out here as well, of uh, some kind of a lake. Look at this view, it's fantastic. I'm not 100% familiar with KL just yet. Uh, we were here for just half a day on the first day. So on that first day, all we did was really uh, wait till the morning at the airport and then uh, grab a, a grab. And uh, we then went off to uh, Penang. And it was uh, roughly a six hour bus ride to Penang. So we only had half a day to really stay here and it's mostly at the airport only. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be here for the next uh, eight days. So there's a number of different places uh, we'd like to go visit, but nothing has been uh, planned out just yet. But uh, we're really looking forward to, to this. So what we're most looking forward to is uh, trying to figure out where the best place uh, to retire to if we were to retire here in Malaysia. So the reason why we went to uh, Penang is to uh, experience that small tropical island um, environment. And then another reason why we went to uh, Meleka is to just check out the small town feel of it. And now we're in the big capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. See if uh, city life will be uh, a good fit for us as well. But as mentioned, we can always um, hop from one city to the next or maybe even hop from uh, one country to the next as well. Uh, kind of like uh, digital nomads. Uh, that's exactly what a digital nomad would be. Um, until we figure out which place is most comfortable and we'll just settle down at it. But anyways, uh, I'll just continue with my room here. I got a little off track there. This place looks really comfortable. So there's a couple of rooms here. I bet there's going to be other travelers here soon. Um, but yeah, this is our room. It has a, a nice bed here, a fan going, and uh, we have the air conditioner as well. And what's cool about this, this single private room is that there is a washroom as well as a shower. So we'll be pretty comfortable here for the next eight days. And some closet space. And look at this fantastic view. I can't wait to see this at night. I'll show you later when it gets darker. But I bet all those buildings are gonna light up. Our Airbnb seems to be pretty decorative as well. It shows the Malaysian time, France, Dubai, and Japan. There's also um, words for every light switch as well. But anyways, I'm just gonna settle down now and get all of our stuff organized. We have Wi-Fi, 
already. So yeah, see you later. Sal lunchbox. We're gonna try some uh, traditional Malay food. So slightly different from what we've eaten uh, there in Penang and uh, Malacca. But uh, yeah, it's good to try out different kinds of food. So we are trying the native Malaysian food right now. Some uh, traditional Malaysian food here. We have a green, which is a gailan, and then it's mixed with uh, onions here and bits of fish as well. So, and there's a little bit of a sauce on the bottom mixed together, uh, together with the onions and uh, gailan. So, we're gonna give this a try later. So we just ordered some uh, watermelon and some orange juice. So our food just came out right now. I ordered a traditional Malaysian dish called a nasi kukas. So it has this big piece of chicken here with white rice and uh, cucumber and uh, some spices here as well, Malaysian spice. This is uh, called nasi karabu and uh, this also comes with chicken and some uh, crispies of some sort and we have of course the rice and a little bit of spice as well as some vegetables and a piece of uh, boiled egg and some a little bit of fish here as well as some spice sauce uh, so we told we were told that this is very spicy so we're gonna use it sparingly I'm gonna try using putting some of this uh, spice on top of the rice here as you can see yeah it's really spicy like he said I kind of like the spiciness of it oh yeah that's really good curry super good and need some of this watermelon juice So I'm gonna now try some of this chicken here. If you take a look at it, there's so much white meat in there. Mm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so we're not in any uh, touristy areas either. This is a very much a local area. But we did some research around this area and this place uh, seemed to be very popular. And we wanted to also try some uh, traditional Malaysian food as well. Sorry, traditional Malay food. Just remember there is a big difference between uh, say Malay and Malaysian. So the Malay people consist of uh, roughly 70% of the population. So they are uh, the original people and then we have the Chinese Malaysians and also the East Indian Malaysians and uh, the other one percent of the population are a mixture of all these other nationalities. I'll end my vlog here today. Join us for some more Malaysia vlogs coming soon. If you like this vlog please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, check out our Instagram and hit that notification bell for more of my content. Thank you for watching my vlog, I hope you have a great day and see you soon.